Hi everyone, it's Catherine here from Sunnyside Journals. We're going to do a little make stuff with me today. This is actually going to be my first one that I've ever done. I've done flip throughs and I've done thrift hauls and uh, I've never actually um, worked at my desk along with uh, along with you guys before. And I was working on something this morning and I was just so tickled with uh, how it was turning out and I thought, uh, okay, I need to stop what I'm doing, set up my camera and share this in case anyone else wants to do uh, the same thing because I certainly haven't seen anything like it. And, uh, but I'm not going to cl lay claim to it because I'm sure someone else has thought of it before because I think it's such a good idea. There's no way I thought of it. So I'm finishing up on... The shy little kitten that uh, that I rediscovered in when I was looking for uh, these things last week. Uh, I found this in a box uh, all ready to be put together and it hadn't been. So so I've been working on, on this little book all week. And I, was, I decided that the shy little kitten um, needed a tassel. So I was working on the tassel and just putting it on with a clip, a bulldog a little tiny bulldog clip and I was uh, getting that ready and uh, I knew I wanted to put one of my little charms on it that I make from the backs of um, little golden books that uh, for whatever reason were not I was not able to make them into a junk journal they might have been in too rough of shape they may have been way too scrawled on by the previous little owner for whatever reason, um, I can still make use of it. Nothing gets thrown out or wasted. So uh, I went to my bin, because I, like everyone else, I've got a bin. My bin's over there off camera. Um, and I have, I make little charms. I just cut up the backs of little golden, oh, that's, that's actually from a box um, of greeting cards that I cut up. Um, but little golden books, I just, I cut them up around the back because the backs have all the the old ones have the backs with all the characters and I just cut them up um, in bizarre shapes and I'll put a little hole in it with my crocodile and put a little eyelet these ones aren't done yet uh, there's a uh, tawny scrawny lion the saggy baggy elephant there's toodle <laughs> I like this one uh, that's uh, pokey little puppy but it still was I was still able to get that little golden books on that one anyhow I make these little charms so I make things out of boxes here's uh I make bookmarks out of monopoly boxes that was a password game I made a bookmark out of that so I was uh as I was sitting here getting this ready leaning over to find this little kitten charm to put on this tassel I looked down into my recycling blue box, which I keep in my lower left-hand side here, nice and handy so I can just throw in as I need to, and I noticed uh, that I had taken apart a little golden book at some point last week and just thrown it into the blue box, and it was laying in there, at, but it was laying in there down like this. And obviously this is one of the newer little golden books. The back is very different from these, these older ones that have that typical yellow with all the characters around the edge. There's another one. They change from time to time who's in it. There's Raggedy Ann and there's uh, the bears. Anyhow, I noticed this one. Uh, laying there that it I had cut it up I'd used the insides it was separate and uh there's the front cover I, I now know why I didn't use it it's uh it was the secret life of pets and it's not particularly yet a classic so I fussy cut some of the little critters out of it and that but anyhow I spotted the shy little kitten there it caught my eye and I thought okay hold on why was I pitching that out I can make a little charm out of that and sure enough I did 
Look how cute that is. Is that the cutest? I cut it up. It's really the back of the book. You can tell there and put a little eyelet in it. And that's going to go, let me get that out of the way. That's going to go on that tassel right there like that. I thought that was the cutest. So I got started on it. I got a uh, little shy little kitten done. And then I did the little red hen. And then I got Scuffy the tugboat done. And then I realized, you know what? This is such a fun idea and so easy. And maybe there's someone else there out there who's got some little golden books that they're not necessarily going to make into a junk journal and isn't necessarily desirable for reuse. And that maybe you want to craft along with me. So let's get started and I'll show you how I've been doing it. You can see here, I already got those few done that I showed you. But um, before I, and I'm not going to cut this apart, I'm going to get started on the ones that I've already got. But I just wanted to let you know, in case you didn't already know, you uh, can get... Where did I put it? Because I want to share it with you. Oh, rats. It's gone. You can take the gold foil off your... Um... Oh, I'm so mad at my... There it is. You can take the gold foil off your little golden book, you know, all in one piece. If you didn't already know that, it's super easy. I didn't think of it. <laughs> Someone else. Some other wonderful creative junk journaler on YouTube thought of it and uh, did a video on it that I watched eagerly. And sure enough, everything that she taught me works. And I can't remember who it is. <laughs> so I give her credit out there. If I think of who it is, if you know who it is, write it down uh, in my comments. Please let me know, or if it was you, please let me know that you're the one who thought of it and so that I can give you credit for it because I certainly didn't think of it, but it's a fabulous idea and it's so easy. You just need your heat gun or I use, um, I have a little portable blow hair dryer uh, that I keep in my drawer here. And you just simply start heating up the gold foil and you take your time. It takes a little bit at first to get that glue to start getting gummy again, uh, but it will do it. And then I usually use this because it's nice and thin. And as it starts to curl up, just start giving it a little, little help. And just keep blowing on it with your blow dryer or your heat gun. And just keep lifting and lifting and lifting. I find that at first it feels like it's going slow. And you're thinking, this one's different. This one's not going to do it. Yeah, it will do it. Just be patient. Because once it really does start lifting, then all of a sudden it'll all peel off. And you will have yourself a perfect piece of little golden book uh, spine foil. And not only that, it actually makes taking your book apart easier because once you get that foil off it exposes the area where the staples are and you can get the staples out easily and then you have a front and a back cover that are still in one nice piece and you have all of your uh signature your two signatures uh papers still together so it it offers you a lot of options rather than just um either slicing that spine off or else tearing it apart. It really, for a few minutes that it takes, gives you a bit more options and you get the pretty gold foil that you can do something with inside the junk journal. And after all, that's what a little golden book is all about is that, that gold spine. So there you go. Anyhow, so let's get making one of these charms. We'll do one of them. Um, well, we might as well just do this one here, the tawny scrawny lion, because he's on his own and ready to go. So what I do is I have my uh, cutting mat. I use a metal knife when I'm working with a blade. I like a box cutter when I'm working on most things uh, at my desk here. They're inexpensive. I can get them at my Dollar Tree. I can give my, I can snap off a new fresh blade uh, easily and uh, as I, as I need it. And uh, a fresh, sharp blade, if you've never been told this before, let me be the one to tell you. I learned it in ninth grade. A sharp blade uh, is safer than a dull blade. You're less likely to have your knife slide 
by accident and hopefully have less or no visits to the ER <laughs> from your box cutter or your X-Acto knife slipping as you're cutting. And another thing is to cut lightly. You don't, don't be trying to get it off all in one swipe. It's not going to happen. You're better off being patient and doing slice, slice, slice several times. You'll get a beautiful clean cut and uh, you'll do it without injury. So I'm going to find the edge of Tawny Scrawny Lion here. That's good. Hold that down. So I'm just going to go lightly. It's not, I'm not going hard, but you do have to keep going over it. It's a, it's an exercise in patience, but I mean, that's why we're here to lower our blood pressure. <laughs> At least I am. <laughs> Burn off some steam, be creative, lower your blood pressure. Ah, and you can feel the knife as it's slowly going in deeper and deeper into that cardstock. Little golden book covers are really are very tough. You're going to go through this quite a few times, but one of the keys to Saving your fingertips is to just be patient and it will separate. There we go. I can feel it now. You can almost feel when you're starting to get down to your mat there. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Come on, you. Why are you being stubborn? There we go. All right, and you just keep doing that. Make sure that you have the wide side under your ruler. It gives you more surface to grip with your ruler. And just go about cutting again. Cutting along there over and over. There we go. Okay. There you go. Perfect. You can feel you can almost feel when it's almost close to being right through. It sort of slows down a bit and gets a little harder to tug through. But again, just keep taking it easy. Prevent yourself from any slashed thumbs. There, I can see. There we go. All right, last one. So I marry that up, that edge. There you go. And just light, easy. I know it seems kind of silly, but and take up time, but boy, the finished result is uh, is so cute. I just like how it it almost feels like an even tinier version. You know the little teeny tiny little golden books? I have a set here and uh, they're just so cute. They're, they're a little perfect uh, little golden book. All right, there we go. So we've got the Tawny Scrawny Lion ready to go. Let me put that away. He's all uh, ready for the next step. So what I do next is I get out my, um, my sandpaper block. And I'm going to sand all the edges around it because this is quite raw and rough and uh, it literally does look like you've just cut up a cover, which you have. You want it to start looking like a cute little charm. So what I do is I just do the edge, but I do it sort of in a round rolling motion. And uh, what that does is it smooths it, it takes off that sharp. You could really give yourself a paper cut. That edge is so sharp. So by doing this round rolling motion, 
and rounding off how sharp those corners are. It, uh, it does two things. First of all, of course, it softens the edge so nobody gets cut <laughs> and makes it look more professional. But it also roughs up the edge. This, this paper is um, glossy and you're going to be inking the edge. And by roughing up the edge, uh, it'll grip and accept the ink better than this glossy paper would. So this can take a little while too. I often will do this outside so that the dust it just, I sit outside, I have a glass of wine, I get my music going, and uh, I will sand things. But I've got one ready. I have, uh, I have the pokey little puppy all ready, and he's all sanded. I do both sides the same way, rough over the edge like that, almost like a little waterfall effect, sanding off the corners so that they're nice and smooth too. So what I'll do next as ever, <laughs> I love my distress ink. What am I using this today? I'm using gathering twigs. Gathering twi gathered twigs, pardon me. So, and then I just do the edges. I find that that nice little dark edge really makes the uh, colors pop and uh, stand out nice. Just go along. It'll soak, that cardboard is so thick find it really does soak in a lot of ink <laughs> but I just keep applying it there we go looks cute and I do both sides and I like how you really can tell that this once was the back cover of a little golden book because there's the other side of the paper that lists that lists all the books that you can purchase or have in your collection. All right, so pokey little puppy looks ready. So the next thing I do, hopefully you've got a crop dial. These things are wonderful, well worth the money. If you have to get one of your coupons and and visit your big box store, I have no problem. I try and get all my supplies from thrift stores, but stuff like this, you really do need to uh, to go to a store and get, or, or on Amazon. Uh, I got mine at, uh, we have a craft store up here in Canada, uh, Michael's. And we don't have very many craft stores. We have some art supplies, Curry's art supplies and that, but crafty things usually you'll find at Michael's. And uh, so you need your crop -a dial and I like the little one because it's so tiny. And I just eyeball it. I want it on the corner here so that it dangles asymmetrically. There we go. Sorry. I'm doing it so I can see it and you probably can't see it. And I just eyeball it. Poke that through. Okay. And now we've got to pick out a color. So I get out my eyelets. Yes. I'm not kidding you. I got all of these at thrift stores. People get rid of them. I guess they get tired of scrapbooking or whatever. Thank goodness. I'm glad they do because then for me, it's wonderful. These are some of those things that I just keep my eye out and I find them. All right. So pokey little puppy, what color do we want? I really like those pink flowers. I wonder if we should use hot pink. I think that might look cute. Let's see. Come on. Doing fussy little things like that is hard for me with the arthritis in my hands, sometimes doing really tiny. Oh yeah, that looks cute. That brings out the hot pink flowers. I like that. All right, pokey little puppy, you're gonna have a pink eyelet. There we go. There we go. And we got a little charm. And again, I find I buy, I buy goody lots at my thrift stores and I found, uh, I find what I need. Maybe I want one of you on it. You'll look good. Okay, you. You will be going on pokey little puppy. Come on. <sighs> okay, there we go. So if I want it that way, I've got to put it on that way. Come on. 
Behave. There we go. Come on. There. Ta-da! Look how cute. Oh my goodness. I am so, so happy with how these little charms turned out. Look at that. Yay. So, there you go. Hopefully there's a fresh idea for you that I haven't stolen from anyone. And if I have, you get the credit. I, but if I haven't, there you go. Enjoy. If you've got a golden book that's got this back cover on it, and you're not going to use it for anything else, cut it up and make, uh, make some little charms out of it. Yay. All right, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks for visiting. Bye.